We live in a society where humans are suing each other all the time. Some of the cases are valid while some of them are crazy and bizarre. While suing a person or a small enterprise is easier, but suing a big company is quite a headache. Yet, there are successful attempts which made a good money. Here are some of the people who sued a big companies for a different reason and some of them actually won the cases. Number 1. McDonald's actually got sued for a coffee. How much a cup of coffee cost? Few dollars maybe? For McDonald's, coffee priced for almost $600,000. This is back to the year 1992 where 79 year old lady named Stella Liebach accused McDonald's hot coffee. What actually happened was that the Stella was in the car park with her grandson with the coffee from McDonald's. She spilled a hot coffee accidentally on her lap which created serious burns on her thighs and genitals. She had to rush to the hospital and undergo a serious surgery. After this, she asked McDonald's to just pay her medical bills which were around $20,000. But the company offered only $800, which made Stella file a case and end up getting $600,000 from McDonald's. Number 2. Apple got sued because of its own Siri. Frank M. Fazio sued a big company, Apple, because Siri was not working according to the one shown in a commercial. Fazio had bought an iPhone 4S. He asked Siri to show him a directions. Unfortunately, Siri replied that it did not understand. Fazio claimed that the Apple showed otherwise in the commercial because of which he was attracted to buy an iPhone. This case was filed in 2012. It was the first time that someone was suing Apple for Siri in spite a lot of people knowing that the application did not work well in iPhone 4S. Number 3. Cigarette company Renault sued for billions. This particular one is considered to be one, one of the most successful lawsuits as the person who sued the company won a lot of money. This case is dated back in the year 2004 when Cynthia Robinson sued R. J. Reynolds. Cynthia's husband had a habit of smoking cigarettes from the time he was 13 years old. He died at the age of 36 after being detected with the lung cancer. Cynthia filed a case against cigarette company as the label of the box did not mention that the cigarette smoking is injurious to health. The proceedings were started almost 10 years later and Cynthia was awarded $2.36 billion. Number 4. Samsung got sued for the bizarre reason. A woman named Salma had accepted a challenge from her friend and inserted her Samsung phone inside her vagina. She said she wanted to see if that was possible. Once inserted, the phone did not come out of the vagina as it got stuck inside of her. The woman had to undergo surgery after 96 hours as the phone could not retrieve. The 39-year-old lady claimed $1.8 million from Samsung on behalf of her medical bills and psychological stress. The woman's lawsuit claimed that Samsung is at fault because their packaging or commercial did not warn the risk and dangers of inserting their devices in a male or female body or genitals. They might consider an out-of-case settlement. This case is very recent and has been registered in an October 2018 with no outcome as of today. Number 5. The confusion between cereal and fruit. A person named Roy Verbo was living in a delusion where he thought that the fruit loops and the crunch berries were made from a real fruit. When his illusion was smashed with the reality, he learned that there are cereals. He decided on a filing case against the company. The case was filed against the company named Kellogg. He stated that they did not mention clearly in their commercials 
and on the packaging whether the loops contain fruits or not. Verbal says that he would have never purchased the product if he knew it did not contain fruits. The case was filed in a year 2009 and still the result is pending. Number 6. Walmart got sued because of two cents. The big giant Walmart was sued for its carelessness with the consumers for merely two cents. Mary Bash was shopping at Walmart and she purchased a packet of brown and served sausages. The product was listed for 98 cents, although during the payment, the product was scanned for one dollar. Bash pointed out to the cashier and then she got the refund. When Mary went to the same store later in the week and purchased the same product, a similar thing happened again. She was furious and realized that the company was making fool of their customers. Thus, she decided to file a case against them and won $100 and the compensation of $80 for the case charges. Of course, the money was not much, but this was a very good win and teach an important lesson to all the big companies. Number 7. Red Bull got sued for 13 millions because it did not deliver the wings. Guys named Benjamin file a case against Red Bull stating that the drink did not give him wings. The commercial of the Red Bull actually clearly claims to give wings to a person. Average human will interrupt this ad in a such a way that it gives great energy to a person. But not Mr. Benjamin. He claimed that he did not feel either way after drinking the beverage. The case had its final result in the year 2014. Red Bull agreed to pay the man 13 million as a compensation. The company did not want a lot of hassle and so they agreed to settlement yet they claimed that they have never prompted false or deceptive things. Number 8. Drunk in a Honda? Eh, let's still sue Honda. Well, now this one is a surprise. Honda was sued by the parents of Karen Norman. This was because the daughter was not able to escape from her Honda Civic after she backed into Galveston Bay. However, this might seem like a normal case, but the bizarre thing was that the Karen was drunk and could not press the emergency button. This was found in an investigation, but the court still granted 25% refund to them. They basically won the case against Honda in spite of the fault of their own daughter. Number 9. Suing for a scary ad. A New York-based woman sued Metropolitan Transportation Authority and the Showtime Television Network in 2014. This was because she got an injury looking at an ad poster. The woman said that she was on the staircase of the Grand Central Terminal when she spotted a poster of a show called Dexter. The poster featured the main lead and his face in a cell phone which was so disturbing for her that she tripped and injured her ankle. However, the case was dismissed by the judge and the women did not receive any remuneration for the same. Number 10. Suing the Bank of America Dalton Kislov sued the Bank of America for $1,784 billion. He said that the bank created a lot of trouble when he called them for clearing his checks. Also, they had made some mistakes in clearing the checks. Obviously, the case was not approved by the judge and he lost it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment in the description which one was your favorite case. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you.